First off, a video. Uh, it's going to make you see the future and understand a wonderful future where we can use brainwaves to fight crime. Yeah, you got to fight crime. If someone's thinking about crime, surely there's nothing wrong with stopping them, you know, because no one ever thinks about doing something and then doesn't do it. So just arrest them. That's not already the plot of a major Hollywood blockbuster. Fight crime, be more productive, and find love. <laughs> also, find love in prison. Even you can't believe how productive you've been. Your memo is finished, your inbox is under control, and you're feeling sharper than you have in a decade. It's a horrible, disgusting little life. That's Neo's life before he gets out of the Matrix that they're selling as the life you should aspire to. Sensing your joy, your playlist shifts to your favorite song. Sending chills up your spine as the music begins to play. Yes, it will send chills up my spine if my computer starts intuiting what mood I'm in when I'm in my horrible little drone cell as a slave to the state where even my thoughts are being observed by apparently benevolent brain DJ. Oh, they wouldn't misuse that technology, would they? They won't become, sorry, you fought a naughty. You're going to have to go to prison. You mentally move the cursor to the left and scroll through your brain data over the past few hours. You can see your stress levels rising. As you realize that the state are observing your every thought. And imagine, for example, you thought something like, I don't know, I don't want my thoughts looked at. Who's this coming through the door? Oh, you notice your stress level is rising as it's RoboCop. What's this? RoboCop's putting you in cuffs and kicking you in your reproductive organs repeatedly. As the deadline to finish your memo approached, causing a peak in your beta brainwave activity. Science is obviously radical and wonderful, but science as a subset of late corporatism, capitalism and globalism is a terrifying proposition because once that's alloyed to the surveillance and ability to regulate and control, which we witnessed to a degree in the pandemic, that's not going to be good for you. You're not going to be leaning back, relaxing, querying what your brainwaves meant. You're going to be in prison. But what's that unusual change in your brain activity when you're asleep? It started earlier in the month. What's this that happened to me last night? Oh yeah, I was looking at the day's earlier brain waves. I've been trapped in a loop, a stenographic loop of looking at data, never experiencing joy. That must have been where I thought about making love. That was a bit where I thought about flying a kite, being outside, being connected to reality, the limitless consciousness that connects all of this, and that artificial intelligence can never replicate because it's beginning are beyond human contemplation and you have to turn inward and recognize a divine life. Robocop, you are under arrest. That is too much spiritual contemplation. You send a text message to your doctor with a mental swipe of your cursor. Could you take a quick look at my brain data? Anything to worry about? Yeah, you've given up your freedom. Your mind starts to wander to the new colleague on your team, whom you know you shouldn't be daydreaming about, given the policy against intra-office romance. Oh, that's interesting. They can use it to underwrite policies and potentially control you. You shouldn't be dreaming about an intra-office romance. That's why we've attached these nodes to your reproductive organs. But you can't help fantasizing just a little. I think I'm in love with Paul. <laughs> no, you fucking were well, not. Sorry, no, I meant, uh, let me get back to work. That's more fucking like it! But then you start to worry that your boss will notice your amorous feelings when she checks your brain activity and shift your attention back to the present. One of the things that fascinates me about the old globalist dystopia is why they keep making videos about it and telling us that they're doing it. You breathe a sigh of relief when the email she sends you later that day congratulates you on your brain metrics from the past quarter. Well done. You have become a docile and obedient servant of the system. You never think a rebellious thought. You never do anything you're not supposed to do. You are essentially an AI robot yourself now. Which have earned you another performance bonus. And all I had to give up was my freedom. You head home jamming to the music with your work-issued brain-sensing earbuds still in. We are going to tyrannize you into total banality and you are going to like it.